But uh, we couldn't go without Al Bear, but we'd have to track him, which is a hard Where thing to do. Indiana is Al Bear Because he's everywhere. And uh, this morning, in a time before television, families gathered around the yep. radio, mm -hmm. love the radio, uh, for mystery, comedy, and Christmas shows. Now, um, Al Bear is at the Test Theater for Performing Arts in Franklin. It's a radio version of the Christmas classic, It's a Wonderful Life. It's a big old radio that play. One too. Definitely. Okay, I couldn't be more excited. I, I just couldn't be more excited. I, I love old-time radio. I love radio plays. Tiger Verdon here. Uh, we're in Franklin, and, and you know, people are like, oh, God, you're in Franklin a lot. Yeah, because there's a lot of cool stuff here. And I think this is going to be really good TV. So as Alex was saying, back before TV, there was radio. Radio was king. It was king. And you know what I love about radio plays, you know, you don't see them. So the pictures are in your mind, you know, and, and that's really cool. What are you guys going to be doing? We are doing It's a It's a Wonderful Life, the 1940s radio play, and it's by Joe Landry. It's adapted from the original version into a 1940s radio-themed play, and you get the audience gets to see a show within a show. So okay. it's they come and watch characters put on a radio show. So you work in both. You're, you're the audience here will be able to visualize it, but also see the inner workings of a 1940s radio. A station, and one of the things I love about old radio plays when you when you look at the photos, is you know you might hear someone walking, you hear thunder. Uh, there's a device to make those noises, and you guys have constructed those, haven't you? Yeah, and um, you know we have foley artists, which is what they're called, and um, you know we wait, we make most of the sound effects. I'm gonna say 95 percent of the sound effects, mm -hmm. five percent will be cheated with regular sound effects because there's no possible way that we can make them here anymore, yeah. like car mo uh, motions and stuff like that. But um, it, it's fun, it, and with this particular play, we're working with our local area high schools and um, kids that have never touched the stage before. You know, it's all about arts education, so we have to build it to keep them in it. So. Okay, this is going to be cool. So we're going to show you behind the scenes. Tyler, can you get a shot of the on the air sign? On air, they had that back in the radio days. We had that at the at our uh, TV station too. But I just love all of this. Look at the microphone here. It's going to be a very cool morning. Hey, we're going to go back to you in the studio. Uh, this is just so cool. I'm so excited to be here. I love old time radio. It is so cool. I have a bow tie. Yeah. Well, oh my goodness! Even I better didn't for old time notice. radio. Did you tie that yourself? Nostalgia. I do tie them. Uh huh. I, I don't it. believe in wearing a bow tie if you can't tie it yourself. I oh, love that. Well, then I'll never wear a bow tie. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people feel the same. Okay, yep. we got to go, Al, but this is going to be you a great morning. It. I can tell. It will. It's going to be fun. <laughs>